Hey you guys, what's up? Bumpy TV guys, they're gonna be reacting with Jessica. Guys, they're gonna be reacting to where Koran was found inside the sea. Guys, let's get straight into this. Brothers and sisters, do you want your charity to be used in the most beneficial way possible? Do you want a house in Jannah next to our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam? If yes, then save a life of a poor orphan, the one who has lost their parents and has no one to take care of. Send your charity to the one who will smile when he sees food on his plate because of your donation. This Ramadan, we the team of Sense Islam have collaborated with Spot Project to sponsor 100 orphans from Gambia who do not have any help, any support except from yours. We aim to gather sufficient funds to offer essential items for a better quality of life. The Prophet ﷺ said, I and the one who sponsors an orphan shall be in paradise like these two. And he raised his index finger and the one next to it, holding them together, barely separate. Donate now through the link in the description box below. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. There are many people around the world who were born into a religious family but when they grew up, they abandoned their religious beliefs and chose to become atheists. An atheist is someone who believes in the non-existence of God. He believes that everything around us and we ourselves are products of science and that there is no superpower above us. It is so unfortunate to see that even people who are born into extremely Islamic families also end up becoming atheists. While there are innumerable verses in the Qur'an that defy the concept of atheism, a recent finding indicates even more that Islam is indeed the only true religion. A scuba diver found a copy of the Holy Qur'an in the depths of the sea while he was scuba diving. The scuba diver named Ian Hagerty spotted the Holy Qur'an at a depth of around 18 meters underwater in a sea in South Africa. Ian posted a video of his findings on his social media accounts, which later went viral. The interesting thing to note here is that the Qur'an was in an open state when found, and the pages that were open were those of Surah Al-A'raf, in which the story of Nuh salam and his people was revealed. Do you find it astonishing that a reminder should come to you from your Lord through one of your own, warning you? so you may beware and perhaps be shown mercy but they rejected him so we saved him and those with him in the ark and drowned those who rejected our signs they were certainly a blind people how is it possible that the verses were exactly matching the situation it was in how in the depths of the sea was the verse that is related to drowning in water in a display position why not any other verse the atheist would answer this question by saying that it is just a coincidence and nothing else. Why do always all the coincidences happen with the Quran only? It is not a mere coincidence. It is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his servants to pay heed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, there is certainly a sign in that for people who pay heed, it is he who made the sea subservient to you so that you can eat fresh flesh from it and bring out from it ornaments to wear and you see the ships cleaving through it so that you can seek his bounty and so that perhaps you may show thanks. He cast firmly embedded mountains on the earth so it would not move under you and rivers, pathways and landmarks so that perhaps you might be guided and they are guided by the stars. Is he who creates like him who does not create or will you not pay heed? In another Qur'anic verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that He will show us signs so that we may understand that only Qur'an is the truth. We will show them our signs in the universe and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that this Qur'an is the truth. Is it not enough that your Lord is a witness over all things? This is a message not only for atheists but also for all those who think that the Qur'an is not the word of God. Nothing in this world is a coincidence. Each and everything is known and under the control of Allah the Almighty. With Him are the keys of the unseen. No one knows them except Him. And He knows what is in the land and sea. Not even a leaf falls without His knowledge, nor a grain in the darkness of the earth or anything 
green or dry, but is written in a perfect record. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we all take lesson from this incident. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide mankind towards the truth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us from becoming heedless. Ameen. What project? Guys, this is... What do you think about it? No, I feel... Okay, I got one particular word for this thing. And it was... Um, not in this world is a coincidence. And everything is known. I feel everything is planned. Either by... Okay, the Christians take it to be God. And then the Muslims Allah. But then, I would say... Everything that happens in this world is known by God. No, Allah is God. Yeah, Allah is God. But Christians won't agree, or Christians won't say, okay, just imagine Christians praying now. They won't admit the fact that we oh, are praying to Allah to check it. Or do they don't believe Allah is for Islam. Yeah, but like, okay, I'm not going to have this argument with <laughs> you. <laughs> but like, Allah in Arabic means God, so like, it's like, in that language, the way the equals call God, you see, so, very harsh, but guys, this was actually, and I really wanted him to say how old the Quran was, like, maybe there was a proof of how old the Quran was when he found it in the sea or something like that, but, Guys, if you like, share, subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think about this video. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.